Ola Kinalito, aka Mahadi Selepe, the girl that calls four countries home. Welcome to my channel, you guys. 2021. I think this is possibly the first video of the year. I'm not sure. I recorded a video two Fridays ago and I didn't end up uploading it. Goodness me, like I just suddenly have got no time whatsoever. Like I have no time. Um, so I am turning 40 on the 1st of February in eight days. I have a concert on the 30th and I have a party on the 31st. And on the 1st is my actual birthday. It's a Monday. And um, I'm going through the most right now. So, yeah, I've been meaning to come to talk to you. Last week, I thought I would get time to come to talk to you. I was in such high spirit. You know, I was like, hey, hey, my people. I want my people. I am not okay today. Um... Yeah, I just thought I'd come online, man. Um, a lot of people are going through a lot. A lot of people are going through a lot. And I um, I just want to encourage you. I just want to encourage you to hold fast. To be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. As the Bible says in Joshua 1 verse 9. Um, you know, the Bible also says, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but he's given unto us the spirit of love, the spirit of power and of a sound mind. Uh, I feel like the world is shifting. Things are changing. Sorry about the noise outside. I'm sitting here for the light. When I close the door, my windows are tinted. It's a sliding door. It's tinted. So it goes dark. So I've opened it for the light. I still have not bought myself a ring light. You guys would have noticed if you have been here before. And if you were here and are celebrating getting monetized. The mistake I did was try to compare. When I got monetized, I knew. Sorry guys, I beat my, myself here. So maybe my lips are moving funny if they are. That's why. I um. I thought I knew what light I wanted to buy until I got monetized and I decided I was gonna um, do some research and I confused myself so much. I was like, you know what? I can, I can do this another time. So it's been another time since. So I will try to pull up my socks and we need to do better this year. <sighs> anyway, I just came to say, guys, be kind to one another you don't know what people are going through if you're going through things do not give up hold on it is almost there we are almost there you know speaking from a christian perspective we are almost there it is almost the final hour we shall be okay there shall be no more death no more sorrows no more pain no more crying when jesus comes we are almost there. Let us hold on. Let us hold on. Um, do not be discouraged. Do not be tired of doing good. It, it, nothing is going in vain. And um, this song was sung yesterday in worship. And it brought tears to my eyes, you know. I've just been feeling that God is... is, is um, He's chasing after me. He is running after me. Like I feel like I'm that one sheep, that one coin man that fell out and rolled and went under the bed somewhere. And I feel like the coin master has left his 99 coins and is busy looking for me. And I feel so special. Like I just feel like God is 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 running after me. He is he is pulling me from where I'm going. He's like, hey, we're almost there. We are almost there. Don't give up. You can't, don't go there. We are almost there. And yeah, I just thought I'd come encourage you that we are almost there. We are almost home. We, um, do not get discouraged by what is happening around you. The pain, losing loved ones.
we're almost there you know um the small details seem to matter a lot right now because we're here we live here but ultimately this is not our home our home is heaven our home is in new jerusalem and we are going there hold on hold on stay positive the devil is after you remember the devil is after your soul the devil is after you the devil is all about discouraging us from following god discouraging us from believing in god the worst thing that could ever happen to you as i heard pastor papu said don't worry if you don't know who he is the worst thing that could ever happen to you is not is not that you die the worst thing that could ha happen to you is that you get deceived you know if you lose heaven if you give up now if you start doubting god now and doubting his love now and going wayward you may not have enough time to come back to repent So hold on, hold on, be strong, be strong by God's grace. He said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He came to give you life and life in abundance. I go into John chapter 10 verse 10. God has plans for you to prosper, you not to harm you. Plans to give you an expected end. Jeremiah 29, 11. God loves you. He loves you more than anyone. He loves you more than your mother. He loves you like basically you cannot imagine it. And God loves your loved one that is dying, that is dead. He, he loves them more than you could ever love them. And him in his love and his sovereignty and his wisdom, his godly wisdom that makes no sense to us. He allows people to rest. He allows his children to rest and escape the darkness that is coming. <sighs> I saw some someone's um, Instagram post that said 2021 went home, put on a wig and came back. I mean, 2020 went home and put on a wig and came back as 2021. <laughs> that was quite fun. You know, we're all like, oh, we're tired of this year. Like, we've had it with 2020. We're just looking forward to 2021. And I remember talking to my kids about this and we were all like saying, but who says 2021 is going to be better? You know? It's looking more and more like it's going to be the same. Most likely worse. Because a lot more of us are going to lose our loved ones. But we pray and we keep faith that we do not lose our loved ones. We do not lose ourselves. But um, ultimately, yeah, I'm here to say God is he's chasing after you. His love. you know it's 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 bottomless his love and his mercy and his grace they are bottomless god loves us that, that's all i think that's all i want to say god loves us and let us not doubt that let us not doubt that he loves us let us not doubt his love for us yeah and i'm gonna share that song with you it's gonna mean my video doesn't get monetized um but i feel like i need to share it with you i might mute it or delete it afterwards um maybe after 24 hours or something or after a week Or maybe I'll just leave it, you know. It's not always about monetization. Because I genuinely am here. To just say, remember you are loved. 
you're fearfully and wonderfully made you are loved no matter how how much you're going through you are loved god loves you man god loves you god loves you don't doubt him do not doubt his love for you yeah don't let the devil win when he wins is when you doubt god when you start saying there is no god that's when the devil wins um and yeah i'm just here to say don't ever forget that there's a god and that god made you and that god loves you so much and despite how much it makes no sense that god will not let you go through more than you can bear you know that god trusts you that god has thrown that into your life because he trusts you to go through it he knows if you hold on to him you will get through it you will get through it let, let us fix our eyes upon jesus fix our eyes upon the hills from whence our help cometh yeah our help cometh from the lord the lord which made heavens and earth our help cometh from the lord let us not be discouraged let us not be discouraged. It is almost over. It is almost over. It is almost over. It shall be well. All things work together for good to them that love the Lord, the Bible says. And the just shall live by faith. May God help us to be just. May God help us to turn from our wicked ways. You know, in his word, God says, if my people who are called by my name could humble themselves, turn from their wicked ways, pray, I will hear them and I will heal their land. Perhaps God would do that for us and heal our land of COVID. Or perhaps these are the signs of the times that he mentioned. He said, look out for them. Know that my time is near when you see things like this happening. So we know, we know we're going to go through pain. We know there's pain. We know that pain, we are going to feel pain. You know, especially the children of God. But there's just going to be a lot of pain in the world. And then he will come and put an end to it. So let us still keep praying for him to take away our pain, to stop our pain, to prevent the pain facing us from happening. But at the same time, should he allow it? Let us thank him. For he says in everything, give thanks. He is sovereign. He knows what he's doing. Okay. Be encouraged. So that's what I'm going to sing. I don't know the words, so I'm going to keep doing that. I hope that's okay. Because I'd put this directly this way, but the brightness is just on my side. So I'm trying to get the brightness into this face. Let me find it. I'm already feeling... Lord, help me to go through this song because you guys need to hear. You guys need to hear these words. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to find this song. I'll probably edit this bit out anyway. I didn't. I didn't warm up my voice, which is not very wise. I did the same yesterday. I sang in two services to promote my concert at church, and then my throat was hot, like an iron. Um, so I'm doing that again. I'm going to sing again. Without, um, but this week, I really don't want to take phone calls. Like, I need to. I need no dairy, nothing. Like, listen, my mom was saying, do not lose your voice. Because I'm singing on Saturday. 
at my concert. I am singing on Sunday at my party. We're doing like uh, the African, like, you know, Mary Makeba and things like that. Pretty excited. I've uh, got a live band, doing some Zahara, Brenda Farsi. Because I thought, what do you want to do, Mahadi, for your 40th? I didn't want to do anything. My friends are like, Mahadi, you, you're turning 41. You have got to do something. I'm like, do I have to? I'm thinking, okay, what do you like to do? Like, I love to dance. I love to sing. How do you like more? I love to sing. Singing brings me healing. Singing does something to me. And I haven't done it in such a long time. And people have been asking me about my singing. Like, what happened? Well, I thought, oh, yeah. I'm going to sing. I'm going to give back to the people because I'm that nice. I'm going to do a free concert and give back to the people. Um, So I have different groups singing. I've got like about eight groups. It's going to be true, true blessing. And then uh, in my party, another live, live music, you know. So I'm quite excited about that. Right to home. Let's do this. Stop talking. Whew. Right, I'm going to sing now. I'm most likely going to delete it, actually, after 24 hours. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because, come on, a girl's going to make some quote. Come on. I'll see, I'll see. Let me know in the comments. Let me know. If you guys vote, if you like, if I get 100 likes, I won't delete it. In 24 hours. Of God. 
the worst of the worst, sometimes there's nothing else to do but to just praise Him because He's so good. No matter what, He is holy, 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 holy. Number one, number one. Now thank you and take care of yourself.